Hi everyone! Looks like we have another monthly craft kit. I'm gonna go ahead and change the camera view that way you can see everything um, better. I just got this about two days ago. So we're gonna be unboxing together. Let me go ahead and open it. I'm gonna put it sideways. So we get our folder paper and our gray little bag. Alright, so we have all of these. I'm going to open the folder first. And here it is. Floral Gate Creator. Oh, cute. So you get your dies and your stamps. In your monthly craft kit and it looks like these are um let's see these are the gates right here and then the big one this looks like a pocket um these are the designs that go inside these two and then i believe this one goes right here it looks like a tag and i want to say these are um maybe closures like how you can close it but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's set this aside and look at the sentiments. Oh, these are really cute. Um, you will always be special to me. Believe in yourself. Our friendship is forever. Happy birthday. We're wishing you every success. Just for you. Sending love and wishes your way. Celebrate. It's your day. I'm always here for you. Congratulations. You deserve every success. Remember that you are loved. You are so amazing. Remember that. Oh, this is really nice. Looks like it can be for several different things. For friends, um, birthday, and it looks like uh, maybe even if someone's grieving. These are really cute. And let's open my favorite part. <laughs> I think the whole thing's my favorite. It's like little presents. <laughs> Ooh, something else. Oh, that's really pretty. So these are double-sided. These are the designs. Let's see, you can see that better. And you get a craft pick, Tim Holtz. I'm definitely using that. <laughs> Some crafter's ribbon, bright white. Looks like it's the thin one. Ooh, this is pretty. Embellishment, Moose, and Peony Pink. And Crystal Drops in Carnation Pink. Ooh, lots of pinks. I wonder, I feel like blues and pinks might be the papers. Let's set this aside so we can see the rest. <laughs> I'm doing this early in the morning because that's when... It's the quietest. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I have some of this. This is the blue specialty paper, and it's like I want to say it's made out of linen. It's it's a lot softer, so this will be good for like decorating. And then we get some of this dark navy. Oh, I just love glitter paper. I wonder if you can see the colors through that. I get one of those. Okay, here's some doubles. Oh, this is like a raspberry pink. This is really pretty. We get two of these. And these are just the classic card. Ooh, an America card. It looks like it has a, a pink to it. I don't know if it'll show, but it's like mostly pink and then it has all the colors on it. So it's definitely pink and blue themed. Oh, and this one, I want to say it's bubblegum pink, but it could be wrong. <laughs> we get one of those. Another mirror card. And this is really pretty. This is mostly a blue. I just love how they change colors. And last one, we get this sky blue. So it looks like um, we get one of each except for the pink. But I feel like you get a lot for for this little one. It's really pretty. 
definitely like all the colors that they use and I feel like I'll probably add some greens in there but we'll see <laughs> all right so now that we had everything unboxed I plan on making a card I'm gonna use what they gave us maybe even add some white in there and then um yeah let's go ahead and do that well, this is gonna be a little different I um I'm gonna make you a card but I want to show you the one that I'm gonna uh, recreate that way you can get a visual this is the one that we're going to make I had some trouble with making the cards too wide so I'm gonna show you how I how I figured this out <laughs> And these are with the two small gate folds. Um, this might look familiar because it's actually the top without the decoration piece. I just thought it looked like um, bushes, so I did that. And then this is actually the inside piece of the pocket decoration. And I'll, I'll show you how I did this as well. I might as well just do the whole thing similar. So this is what we're going to do. I think this is about... A little over four by six so let me get my pieces I guess we can use pink so I'll do pink as the base and let's see it doesn't have to be too big I'm just gonna use that as like a measurement so what I do first is I figure out how big I want the card and then once I know, I'm gonna cut it. And let me see. Okay, and that should give enough space. Let's see, I make it a little larger. I'm going to use this and it's a little over four inches and a little over five. I want to say it's, yeah, it's about four and a quarter, five and a half inches. Um, let me go ahead and cut off the, the gate pieces like this and then I'll show you how I assembled it. So these are the two pieces that I cut out. And there's just a few I need to poke out. So glad they have this in there. <laughs> All right, good. So I left a lot of space right here. And you'll see why when I assembled it. I'm going to just cut off straight across. And then from here, what we're going to do... First, we're going to see how it looks and figure out about how close we want it to be. And then from there, we're just going to find out where our crease is going to be. So I'm going to probably do right here. Actually, I wonder, you could probably do a piece like this. Mm. I'm just playing around, trying to figure it out. <laughs> this is what I do like 99% of the time. I just cut them out and then just play with the pieces, move them around until I figure out how I want it to look. So right there and right here is where I'm going to crease. All right, and then we just test it out. Not bad. It's okay if there's a little overlapping. Um, I wanted to put it that way. I just wanted to see how it would look since the other one is kind of spaced apart. But you can space it if you need to. These are going to be the gate pieces, so that will be what opens. Uh, what I'm going to do next, I am going to go ahead and glue the back piece together. Let's see. So I want it to be about right here. And then from right here, I'm just going to glue these down to the, to the paper. All 
All right, now it's just time to decorate. I'm gonna put um, probably some glitter card sock underneath. That way you can see the glitter through the design. And then I'll probably cut out a white sheet that I'm gonna put right in the centerpiece. I have my pieces cut. Um, I actually cut some of the fabric one, which I recommend using scissors with. Uh, you can use like your guillotine tool, but just make sure you're holding pretty firmly. Otherwise it'll get a little um, stuck. But let me see, I think I have to cut off some of the edge. I think like this would be okay. So I'm gonna glue down these pieces together and then um, I cut out the background for the flowers and I'm just gonna glue these right, right to it. All right, so everything is glued on. What we're gonna do next is connect the two pieces together. I'm gonna cut out two of these and I'll probably use, doo -doo -doo. I'll use the pink. I'll use the same pink that I used for the background. That way it can kind of blend in. I have cut these two pieces with this. I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm going to arrange so there's a small hole, it looks like, right here, that I can put both of them. And I want them to kind of line up together, but it's okay if they don't. Let's see how this... I guess about right here will be good. So I just got these to line up. That one is done. Now we just have to decorate the inside. I'm gonna use some of the embellishment mousse because I haven't used it too much and probably uh, use it as like a paint I'm just gonna water it down a little and then kind of paint the background kind of like, not all over, but just some places. <laughs> I like that it gives it that shine to it. Let's cut this piece right here because I'm gonna cut out the flower on it. So I'm gonna put this on some, actually, let me cut it with this paper. This looks interesting. I'm gonna cut it with this paper that I just painted with the embellishment mousse. And then um, I'm gonna cut it out twice. So one right here and then one right there. Okay, so I ended up cutting a white piece and putting it over it just cause I don't think I really loved it. So uh, yeah. <laughs> now with these, we're gonna need a background for the flower part. And then I was gonna use these for the leaves cause I thought it was a lot of fun. Let's see, since we're already using 
some glitter and the pink. Let's use let's use more pink. Let's use what we have scraps of. So you could do one or two things. You can recut the outline shape and then line it up against the flower, or you can just cut your own pieces. If you don't have that much um, paper left, then you might have to do it this way. But I'm just gonna show you the harder way, just so you can see. <laughs> And then that's what you should end up with, two flowers. And then I was just gonna use this um, as part of the background on the inside. So then when you open, it'll be like a surprise with the flowers. So I'll probably just do it kind of off-centered. I'll go ahead and cut out a sentiment piece I'm going to make this smaller by die cutting it to right about here. That way I can just stick it right over here. I'm just going to use some foam tape. Just for you, happy birthday. Add a little ribbon to tie it off. I overlap these. What I'm gonna do, I am gonna do, let's see which one's gonna go on bottom. This to this. I'm just gonna put it straight through like this. And I'm gonna come around the side. And then tie it off. And cut off the excess. And there we are. All done. So we just finished the card. So we just finished the card. And this is what it looks like in the front. I'm hoping I don't have this upside down. <laughs> Let's just untie this. 
And there it goes, just for you. Happy birthday. And um, I wanted to show you the rest of the cards that I made. Um, I didn't show it in the beginning just because uh, we were doing the unboxing. But now I can show. This was the one that we were kind of um, uh, copying, I guess. I had did this and made it more like um, the sky and then the uh, bushes. And um, yeah, I was originally going to make like little pockets with this, but I just, I just kept it as is. That way it was a lot easier. That one. And then I did a shaker. These beautiful designs are like perfect for shakers. I just love all the detail in it. Just all the flowers and it has that little centerpiece. So I just put these, I did one right here and then I just ran it through the die machine on the same size. I just had to line it up really well. And of course the tags, we cannot forget those. Those are a lot of fun. I did two different styles. Um, this one, I used some of the shimmer powder and I just kind of glued everything together. So it's just one big piece. And then with this one, I left it kind of like apart. That way it just seemed more, uh, I don't know, more fancy. <laughs> and then this. And this card right here, I just did like a little sleeve and I did this hook, this gate connector instead. And this whole thing comes right off. I used the pocket piece um, decoration as the top and bottom. And then I also did the actual pocket right inside. And here are these two. They come right out. And then this one. I just did a little thing on the back. And the last one. I just did this one for fun. I was just about that. Might as well since I'm already making all these other ones. <laughs> and it's just a happy birthday. And I did some shakers if it'll shake. <laughs> And then on the inside, I just did the vellum. I thought it'd be like fun just to have something different. Little thing. <laughs> I think that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see what you guys create. Happy crafting. Bye.